I'm just Vanna White to you, aren't I? What? What? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I, I did the joke. It's my own damn fault. I was going to say, well, well, you did set up the light box. I did. I did set up the light box, didn't I? Oh, God. <laughs>
for gun type weapons orange tip yeah so for me i do like the, i do wish the orange was a little bit brighter mm -hmm. maybe or there's just a little bit more contrast between the two colors but again it like the, again we, i know we said we we're gonna address yeah. this it does have a very realistic silhouette <laughs> yeah. um which i will talk about later uh a little bit more in detail again it's, it's it is a nice color i just wish that there was a little bit more contrast between mm -hmm. the two to make it a little bit more apparent this is a toy yes key, <laughs> key word toy toy big toy uh but yeah no so upon my first try with this when james was like hey we're gonna review this today i had a little bit of trouble with the priming but i kind of yeah. always do because i am <laughs> a weakling uh but after i want to say third or fourth try yeah you were, it, you were it kind of good it, bit it, it, it was very it was very reminiscent of the night finder yes so you I know just, i'm not used to this kind of stuff no, but i fair. i would say this is like as a starter like receiving this as a gift for 80 bucks like this is to me this yeah. is quality yeah it also does come with uh and they're over on the workbench but it does also come with 18 rounds of the bamboo of the darts on bamboo darts not obviously adventure force pro darts because those are specifically adventure force which was walmart uh but this does come with the bamboo darts you have enough for basically like three full clips because the speed loaders hold six each which means this holds six and from what i have seen it really doesn't work you really can't fit in that like secret seventh round so mm -hmm. it really only does work with six unfortunately but then that works out fine because with the speed loaders loaded fine it works and then you can just load this once and then your other speed loaders and then you're all set so yeah. and so extra comment because i just realized while you're talking because uh -huh. i'm like I know he said which side is the fire, which side safety, but as someone, again, who doesn't do this very often, it does have a little S on this side and a little F on this yes. side. So you you can't exactly mix the two up by accident. Yes, that is true also. So I think that kind of goes over the cosmetics well enough okay. and also the function of it. Uh, now we're going to go to the workbench and open it up and see what there is inside on it. I mean, I know people have already started modding it, but I mean... With this, I, I myself am probably not going to, but we're still going to go open this up now. Sounds good. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this was a little trickier to open than I had originally anticipated. Uh, for sake of time, as always, I have unscrewed everything, and from the look of it, Dart Zone is keeping with tradition in that the screws that I did pull are all the same size. So thank you for that, Dart Zone. I always keep up the good work. Uh, the slide is obviously a separate piece. It comes right off. The front orange bit is... This was a little tricky to cut that off without like basically destroying it. Um, this is a... Uh, just clips into the front once you screw it all back together and all. The way I was able to do it was once I had the top loose, I just kind of shoved my uh, uh, flathead screwdriver in there and it did actually pop it off but again just be very careful when you're doing that the only other clip here is right here in th this spot uh, right above this screw port uh, it is actually clipped together which and you have to make sure it is completely 100% pushed through which is why this top piece is at such an awkward angle excuse me um, there's also just one hidden screw, which is right under here, but you will notice that as soon as you take the slide off. So now opening it up, we have the inside of the blaster itself. Uh, you will see two little uh, retaining nuts in the handle here, uh, those little silver pieces. Those are actually what holding on the grip scales. So if you do unscrew those, those may come loose. So if you do paint this or decide to do anything with it, just make sure that those are removed before you do anything else. Um, or well secured either way. And looking at, I mean, Dart Zone did a wonderful job. This thing is compact as all hell. So the handle or the grip obviously is where your darts are. You have a small anodized orange barrel here, and I like the fact that they did actually take the time to make this barrel, the metal barrel, actually orange. 
But at the same time, it was also kind of slightly worthless because it's completely covered and you can't see it, unlike in the Dark Zone Pro Mark 1 and 1.1. But you know what? Hey, it's still a nice touch. Uh, you have a, honestly, a giant trigger here. Be, then again, it has to be big because it's got to go all the way around the clip to get to your catch back here. You have a very, very beefy spring there, along with a very well-sized plunger tube for something this small. Um, you also have the safety here, which I'm going to see if I can maybe get that out. Because I want to see if I can actually reverse it like I did on the 1.1. If I can, that would be awesome. If not, I may just have to live with the way this thing is. So... Um, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to reverse this one. So either if you want to take the safety out, you're either going to have to just completely remove it, live with it, or I think Drac over at the Foam Pro Shop has a safety delete, which is just a 3D printed piece that just removes the safety feature, but doesn't cover up the... Uh, but covers up the hole so, you know, certain schmutz don't get in here. So, a little bit more complicated than the uh, Night Fighter, huh? Yes. Uh, so, I've just kind of been sitting here on the sidelines. Uh, I will say, uh, as you mentioned, like, the insides, I don't know much of the mechanics and what everything does. But to me, detail is everything. And it looks damn gorgeous from the inside as it does the outside. Uh, it does... Again, it's just a little extra bit of adding that uh, orange metallic coating to the barrel. Um, it does kind of suck that you can't switch the safety to the side that's better used for you uh, if you are left-handed. Um, but obviously that's, I, I guess, a, a normal uh, feature on most guns, correct? With the, with the ones that are a little bit more, I would say, not kid-friendly. Got it. It's usually, it's, they usually do have something like that. Like Rival has always had this. Um, it's be, been, a, it's been a big key thing on all of the, uh, the Dart Zone uh, blasters. And by, I mean the Dart Zone blasters. Yes, I'm also including the Nexus and the Aeon because those are made by Dart Zone. They are just under the Adventure Force line for Walmart. So. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to button this thing back up, and then we will give you our final thoughts on this. Okay, so final thoughts on this. And yes, I know normally in the more recent reviews, I would do an FPS test right about now, but it is a lot to set up, and I want to get as much done with this wonderful, wonderful co-host of mine uh, as possible. So unfortunately, I'm going to skip it for this review. But if you do want to get the actual numbers for this thing, uh, go, honestly, go check out Captain Xavier's video because he does awesome reviews as well. So, not as good as mine. <laughs> hey, a lot of people. Sh shout out to the community. As from yes. what I do know, the nerd communities, you guys are all just awesome. Yes, we are. But yeah, so I know, I, you know, don't, 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 don't throw hate all my way because believe me, I know I am not quality like Xavier. <laughs> but anyway. So, final thoughts on this wonderful thing. Um, I really like it. Um, I know the $80 price point is no $25 for the Aeon Pro, but honestly, I like this thing so much better than the Aeon Pro because I know I this is really the first time I'm mentioning this in the review, but the Aeon Pro is basically a pistol version of the Nexus Pro. But it operates just like a Retaliator, even though, yes, this is also still top prime. But all that is is basically just a Retaliator, because people have already made kits for it to basically turn it into, you know, basically a small version of the Nexus. So you have pump grips and stocks for that thing. So to me, it's not a pistol. This is a pistol. You know, this is akin to the Hammer Shot or the Maverick. Or the Spectre, you know, the strong arm, yada, yada, yada. Um, the other thing I do like about this is that it is, it's got the internal magazine. So, I mean, you'd never have to go looking for one. 
Uh, some people may be a little hesitant about the, oh, it's only six shots. But honestly, for something like this, six shots is fine, in my opinion. It's it's just enough to where it's definitely very usable. Uh, you can make the argument, well, I love the hammer shot, and that's only five. But honestly, the ones I have up there that I do use all have the orange mod work kit in it. So it has a six shot cylinder in it. And if you're going to be using that, you're going to tend to usually dual wield them since you can. And that's technically 10 shots. So, mm -hmm. but overall, I really, really do like this thing. Now, okay. so with, to address the elephant in the room. Yes, we all know what the silhouette looks like. Key takeaway is going to be this. Don't be a jackass. If you want to play with it in your backyard, fine. You want to take it to a private event that's at like a field somewhere that like a paintball field or an airsoft field or whatever. Totally fine. You want to play on private property in a field with this and it's okay. That's totally fine. Don't be a schmuck and take this to a park and just go, because that's going to get us all in trouble. We don't want that. No. For, for, for everyone's safety and for yours. I mean, this is... Yeah. It's... You don't... It's... Use... And I know this is severely lacking in the world nowadays. But please, for the love of God, use some common sense. Mm -hmm. If you're going to take this to an event that's in a park or something like this, that's what this thing is for. You and can't if, miss it. And if you complain, oh, well, it's going to hurt my range. You know what? <laughs> Tough. Safety first, people. You know that we practice that on this channel as often as we can. As much as we can. As, as much as we try. <laughs> but yes, takeaway from that is just please don't be a jackass. Use some common sense and let's not get us all in trouble because of one schmuck. So you're here. Okay. I think that, that that is well said and it was important to say as well. Yes. Okay. Now getting back to the things. So <laughs> getting on to the uh flash hider or muzzle breaker, whatever the hell this thing is actually called. But... I you're asking the wrong person to help with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to say I do like the profile it does add to it. Um a couple of people have said it does make it feel very auto nine esque. Um I love RoboCop, but I'm not going to say it brings it to that. But this does kind of remind me of like, kind of like the updated uh, hand cannons and all of that from like Resident Evil games. Like this kind of reminds me almost of like the Wesker model of uh, the uh, Star Samurai Edge or something to that effect. So I really do like it. I personally don't really care for the belt clip on this. I mean, I can understand it because it doesn't fit in the holsters with this on. And that goes for really kind of almost any holster unless you customize it. So, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm totally fine with this. I really do like it. And again, it's bright orange. It's definitely safety. So now moving on a bit to the accessories here. We have the speed loaders, which, again, awesome idea. I do really like them. Some people have been complaining about the whole, well, if you put them in with no darts, then you can only put them in this way because, yes, it does stay in that way. You can technically put them in like this, but then you run into the problem of. So it does suck. It doesn't work as well upside down, but it does work upside down. But, again, you run into the same thing of the design of this could have been tweaked a little better for the simple fact of, yeah, you have the buttons here that can go down, but because of the way they sit, in, the back ridge holds them in place. Got it. So, you really can't, like, unless you push it down a bit, you can't really, like, load on the fly, and even if so, it only goes down so far. But, I still like these things for what they are which is honestly great um the belt loop actually isn't that bad it's not that comfortable it sits low enough to where it doesn't kind of like really impede you when you're running around and also you can always just throw it towards your back this way you can just this way they're not 
in the way of like if you have to bend over to get something so that is honestly i really do love these things these are awesome uh this while it does work very nicely um yeah this is kind of worthless to me because i'm left-handed and so i mean like if you were using it it would be totally fine i'm lucky i'm right-handed yeah <laughs> Uh, but I mean, it does have a bit of a swivel, so you can angle it and really that's about as far as it goes. It does hold the, it does hold the pistol really well. So, and I'm just literally holding on to these little nubbins right here. So it doesn't fall out of my hand, but mm -hmm. yeah, no pressure. This thing is holding. So if you're right-handed, yeah, this does work very well. Um, it does sit high on the hip though, because right here is where the belt is. And apparently my son is finding something extremely funny. <laughs> Sorry for the background noise. <laughs> but to showcase, it does, it's going to sit high. But so, you, you, you want it to sit high anyways. You do. I mean, if you want a drop leg holster, then that's just one you will have to get. Um, but if you are... You know, a uh, southpaw, or as my friend uh, Charlie would say, uh, one of the devil's children, because you're left-handed. Out of Darts does actually have a holster that works really well, and oh, that's nice. Is left-hand friendly, so this I can put right on my hip, and it will fit totally fine. So now the cool thing is with this one. You do have a small magazine holder here. This will not fit the speed loaders. I can tell you that for damn sure. Um, but you probably could fit a flashlight in here. So it would actually be good for an HVZ event or, you know, a night game or something. But yeah, uh, this you can find on outofdarts.com. Uh, they did not pay me for that. I ordered that all on my own. Mm -hmm. I am just throwing out, hey, you can find a good holster for it if you're left-handed there. So Accessibility is key. Yes. So, that's going to be it for this review, I think. Oh, well, for you. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. I get it. I'm amateur hour, <laughs> but come on. Okay, fine. What are your final thoughts on this thing? So, my final thoughts, again, I am not, like, to the hobbyist level of this stuff. Uh, so, as an outsider looking in, I, as I said before, I love the weight of it. The look of it is great. Again, just obviously be careful with the silhouette. Make sure that the bright orange tip is still, in fact, bright orange. I do love the look of this. I really do. Um, it is upside down. Shush. I'm still learning. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, I really like it. And uh, when we were showing the internals, I like there's only a few screws that you have to take out to actually do any modifications to it if you wanted to. Yeah, there are minimal screws on this, which is very nice. It's just you have to worry about those clip points. It's a plus. And again, I'm one of those I like the little niche nitpicking points of design so even when you open it up it does look very pretty <laughs> I, I cannot deny that so it does look very nice it looks very polished it's quality um and as I was talking to James earlier just asking him random questions uh while the camera was off was that this plus the three accessories eighty dollars yeah that's to me, that is value because I know most Nerf guns, like at Target, I'm, I was looking. I'm like, I'm not gonna spend that much on something that's probably just gonna sit on my shelf. This, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like it just, it looks really nice, and it's something quality that I know I could use this for. Such because mm -hmm. a lot of my characters do tend to be red and black. Yes. So it just works with my aesthetic quite nicely, even though my okay. favorite color is blue. But that's, that's a so, story that's for a point. <laughs> Um, but I love that you can get all this value. For just eighty dollars, I will say again, I am right-handed, so I am not impeded in every way, any way exactly. But I do like to support brands and products that are versatile and accessible to just about anyone. So it does suck that left-handers are a little bit uh, pushed to the side <laughs> in terms of yeah. uh, thought and design. Um, and also, you mentioned exclusivity of the use of yes. these. If uh, as far as I know, the speed loaders, you get the two that come with the blaster, obviously. I believe Dart Zone will be carrying um, refill packs of those on their website. I do not know when that is going to be. I know they mentioned somewhere in 2021, so 
there is that. Um, but also, even though this does come with the bamboo darts, um, we know Adventure Force Pro darts are becoming basically the new meta of the hobby because they're so cheap and they're so easy basically to get from Walmart. Uh, this does work very well with Adventure Force Pro darts as well. So you don't need just the bamboo darts or anything like that. Uh, Adventure Force Pro works just as well in them. I haven't tested them with worker darts yet, uh, but honestly, worker darts really are kind of falling to the wayside because of the accessibility we do have for the Adventure Pro darts. So, but there is that. But yeah. So yeah. So for me, it's I the little bit that I know about the nerfing community <laughs> is versati versatility and accessibility is kind of key in being able to trade guns out really quickly, reloading and all that stuff. So it does kind of suck in that retrospect, but as for me personally, as someone who would just use it as a prop at a con, um, or just a really nice thing to display on my nerd shelf, <laughs> I think this is unbelievable. And for $80, absolutely worth it. I would actually fork over the money for that. And I don't fork over my money for much. So, don't and, call me out. <laughs> see, uh, now, it... Now, if me singing its praises for it wasn't enough, I think that is an awesome endorsement for this thing. I, so. I do tend to be, like, for stuff that I don't actually need, I do tend to be very picky with my money. So I think that says, says a lot. And so if you it know does. someone that is interested but doesn't know how to get started, I think this is just a cool thing to have. Yeah. Um, I think that's kind of... Oh, yeah. And for me, the, the only issue... I have is priming, but that's on any guns because I'm a weakling and I'm just not used to it. Uh, but again, I'm learning. Yeah, see, you got it better that time. Oh, safety song. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and again, I do like that they did label the safety yes. of the fire because, again, I don't know this stuff. So it's nice that they did make it very easy, starter, user friendly. There you go. All right, so. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content we put here, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of the Dark Zone Mark II. But also, what did you think of this double review, so to speak? Uh, please let us know in the comments down below. Like I said, like I've said before, we read all the comments. Um, I try and reply to all of them if I can. But if not, you always get a thumbs up from me. Um, and ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when we're doing our silliness here on the channel here. Again, thank you all very much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. Later.